Good afternoon, Tiplamen. This is Seb Shah from SNS Lofts UK. Uh, today we're going to discuss, uh, well, we had a lot of queries about uh, feed, uh, what we feed our birds. We feed quite a few things and they're very different things. Uh, we make them ourselves. Uh, now today I'm just going to focus on one of those. Uh, so that's the, it's kind of a treat which I actually give after the main meal, okay? Now, before we go any further, what you need to do is, what I do that before I actually mix my seeds, uh, look, uh, an every standard household bin, okay, not used, uh, cheap and cheerful, does the job, okay. Uh, now, what, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to disinfect this, if you can see this inside, okay, it's, uh, it's not grubby, but uh, what I'm uh, trying to eliminate is uh, toxins, okay, any kind of toxin, in other words, fungus, okay. Uh, seeds are prone to it and uh, so I'm going to eliminate that for that what I'm going to use you can also use uh, bleach uh, to wash this okay so this is work on this already mixed up here is a bottle of it which I do mix up uh, in an old uh, bottle of either cooking oil which is washed thoroughly or similar size so it's easier for me okay so this is also what I use uh, when I clean the pens uh, and boxes the breeding boxes so, right, so you just, just want to spray around it, okay, and uh, just nice and easy. Right, let's get this thing working first. Okay, just going to get this around here like so. Okay, I'm just going to give it a quick wash over it, like so I'm going to go there. Just as you would do with your toilets probably, bleach, okay. Just nice and easy. Make sure you don't get this stuff on your clothes, okay, it's just going to fade them, yeah and uh, nice and easy there so I want this to sit in there like so lovely lovely stuff there you go excellent nice and easy there we go right so that's kind of covered everything so then I'm just going to let it just uh, work its wonders there I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and then I'm going to wipe this clean and uh, this is all you have to do okay but see there's uh, care there is care uh, in wool so uh, we can take a lot of shortcuts and uh, then find that look there's an issue with the birds okay uh, so there is a lot of care that goes into it in other words listen you've got to spend time yeah it's no good just having birds getting a shed or getting a loft and just chucking them in there and then feeding them from time to time uh, it doesn't work that way Okay, you've got to become a pigeon with the pigeons. Okay, this is this is a famous uh, saying. Uh, you have to become a pigeon with the pigeons. Okay, if you can't do that, I would suggest kindly and politely, don't keep them. Okay, just just get yourself uh, a PC or video game or whatever. Okay, no up, no upkeep. Okay, now listen, I'll be back uh, after I clean this uh, bit or disinfect it or sterilize it. In other words. And then I'm going to go into the mix, how I mix that treat, okay? It's kind of, you can call it a conditioner, but it's not a, well, it is a conditioner of a kind. But this is what I want in the seas, what my birds, what I want to feed. Okay, see you shortly. Uh, we've uh, uh, disinfected uh, the bin, okay? We put, so as I said to you, uh, Vircones, uh, a tad of bleach, domestic bleach, uh, and uh, a bit of dental in there also. Okay, so gave it a thorough, uh, thorough clean, thorough rinse and washed it out and now what I'm going to do, I know it's, uh, some guys uh, out there might say oh, plastic, torch, whatever uh, personal preference, alright, I'm just going to make sure it's dry, okay if there's anything that needs elimination uh, we know very well, okay and go gently, listen, this is this is what you need to be doing if there's anything that has survived, if there's anything that has uh, escaped the onslaught. Okay, can you see that? Can you see that? Uh, you just, 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 just make sure that you're not spending too much time. It's just like you know, just giving it a, a bit of a, a exposure to the flame. All right, this is uh, just before I'll actually go in and just keep it very low. Keep it very low because you do not want to get past the heat to a the uh, surface. Okay, so nice and easy. There you go. Look, I wonder what that is. Okay, so just here in between these crevices here. Okay, that's that's where the moisture will hold. So nice and gentle, just be around it, just give it enough air. Yeah, there you go, there you go, nice and easy. Okay, so it's uh, like I said, look, it takes a lot of time, all right. If you want to keep birds, 
keep them the right way. If not, uh, go play golf. Okay, take up cricket, golf footy. So it's that's uh, you know. Otherwise, uh, personally speaking, I don't have time for people uh, who keep uh, birds but do not spend time or look after them as they should. And that's you're not doing justice to the birds. Okay. So this is what we're going to be doing, nice and easy, like I said, just go around it, okay? Here, this is where my concern is, right? Just nicely there, 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 there. And that pretty much does not change that uh, colour anymore, okay? So that's fine, that tells me that's absolutely bone dry. Here, there is some moisture content I can see, okay? Because uh, the weather we've been having lately, as you guys all know, it's been um, just, just chaotic. And uh, so I just want to just double, like, you know, just want to make sure that there's no moisture content whatsoever. Okay, and these bins, like I said, they look they're cheap and cheerful, they do the job. Okay, and uh, you know the big beauty of it is these are made in England. So obviously there are regulations in place. So I know this is just not any other plastic. Okay, and I did a bit of a research before I actually get these uh, for the company and I spoke to them and, and uh, I just got the go ahead that look, these can be used, you know, obviously not for human consumption, but I, you know, it's pretty much safe to store seeds in them. Uh, okay, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to just do that and now what I'll do is just grab the lid and they're nice and easy. Let's go over here. Okay. Right, that's what we've got to do. And that's the crunch. Uh, now I'm going to actually tell you uh, what we or what we actually use. Uh, there are 12 uh, uh, types of seeds we use. Okay. Uh, now, if you want to come over, and I'll just go through. Uh, 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 I'll just go through them. Uh, now, I'm not going to go into the nutritional values and whatnot, okay? Now, starting from the top, you've got linseed, okay? You've got buckwheat, safflower, paddy rice, okay? Nidja seeds, black grape seeds, uh, pinhead oatmeal, yeah, okay? Then you've got hemp seeds here, and you've got uh, groats here, and you've got uh, tears here, okay? And then the other two... Uh, which I use uh, according to taste is the millet seed and the uh, peanut curd, broken peanuts. Okay, but uh, you've got to make uh, sure the seeds, wherever you get them, right, they are not toxic, they've been tested. Okay, uh, I believe it's self toxin uh, test, but uh, anyway, uh, what you need to be doing is that you need to get what I do. And what we do here at SNS Lofts is that we mix them in equal amounts, equal portions. Okay, so there are 12 seeds. So uh, today I'll be making around about 25 uh, kg to 30 kg there at their give and take uh, mix. Okay, and the other thing you need to make sure that when you're going to mix them is that your the bigger seeds you've got here you mix them first don't forget the smaller seeds like linseed the black grape they'll just fall right through so if you have them at the bottom first you won't be able to get a good mix okay so let's uh, now get on with the mixing right and before we actually put the actual seed in there what i tend to do what we tend to do here is that we get a bit of a nutmeg and sprinkle that at the bottom of the bin now here here's how i do it okay so just nicely there right it'll give you a lot of uh Roman, obviously, I'm not going to go into his Ayurvedic properties yet, so that's just about enough, okay? Right? Good. Excellent. Now, let's, uh, let's, like I said, let's get on with the mix. Okay, now we've got all the, the big seeds in there, okay? So what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to give them a good mix, okay? Just ni nice and easy there, okay? Very lovely. As you can see that, that's all getting together. Right, and obviously there'd be people out there saying, oh, we can get this in the shop, we can do this, we can do that, listen. Uh, good luck. If it works for you, mate, whatever your preference is, yeah, that's uh, your choice. But uh, here at SNS Lock, we love to do things this, uh, the old-fashioned way, okay? And the other thing is that we know exactly what's in there, what quantity is in there, okay? Can you see that? 
This is lovely. And this is this is how I serve these to the birds it's after the main feed. Obviously, I leave uh, the room for these additional feeds in there. Okay, you don't want to overfeed the birds. Uh, what we actually do is that this is a treat. Okay, so you're looking at uh, probably half a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Okay, a teaspoon sort of uh, between two birds. And if I'm a bit, uh, if I feel good on that day, I probably give them a tablespoon. Okay, so it's a lot of uh, good seeds in there. Okay. And I guess it's costly, it does uh, cost you a lot of money, okay, but, we you say, hobbies are cheaper, or cheap, okay, if you want to do that, like I said to you, let's go watch the telly, don't keep this, right, so that's pretty much there, okay, and now what we're going to do is that we're going to get uh, the small seeds, yeah, because they're going to fall right through. And now, uh, mix the small seeds in there, okay? And uh, you've got linseed, you've got peanut oatmeal, black grape seed, you've got niger, niger seed, whichever way you want to pronounce it. It's a nice and easy. Can you see that? It just kind of goes into it. Just get it, get the top mixed up, and then you can see that. Let's just get this layer of smaller stuff all mixed in before we actually uh, try to go and get them all the way down. Can you see that? Now that is beautiful. That's love and care. I wish I was fed like that. Okay, right moving on. Now we're just going to go slightly deeper. Right all the way down. Just get it there nice and easy. Gentle. Yeah. Labor of love. Nice labor of love. Okay. Just nicely there. There we go. Gonna work all the way down. Excellent. Right. So this is it. Now again for uh, uh, the fuss pots. Uh, it's look. We love what we do. Okay. And it's the ratios. You know. So and most of these seeds, majority of them, are very expensive commodities. So your commercial mixes out there are going to have percentage, namesake percentage. Okay. So they, you're led to believe that percentage is really good. No, what it is, the cheaper seeds make the bulk of the feeds. Okay, so that's basically commercialism there for you. Okay, so but uh, you've got to know your ratios when you're in competition. Yeah? You're racing, you're flying tipplers, high flyers, whatnot. You really need to know your ratios of what kicks, what does what, okay, what quantity and when and for how long you feed what okay some stuff straight secrets okay and if you got if you got them in a book and if you could get them on dvd guys everybody every household everyone who keeps food will be going to races right also everyone will find first in it okay no first thing well the average is probable to go against it okay so just get a good mix in there nice and easy okay there you go. That's, that's the treat. That's the treat. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that at all. There we go. Excellent. And don't forget the millets gonna go in, but that goes in according to taste and the peanuts. Peanut kernels uh, chopped up, okay, the broken peanuts, okay. But make sure it's definitely with peanuts, right? Uh, they will actually uh, you need to know uh, where you get them from and they, they have to be uh, you know they have to be tested against uh, toxins okay no, it's no good I don't get the cheapest option okay here to do things slightly in a bulk way and this would last me quite quite a long time because don't forget this is not the main thing all right guys this is good to go all right excellent now I hope uh, you've learnt I hope you've learned a thing or two here. So this is how I prepare my treat. You can call it a conditioner at SNS Loft. It's been a pleasure once again. So now you take care. Till the next video, look after yourself. Happy flying.